So this is TV and film look. This is me realising I look like The Rock and I'm laughing at myself because of the um, turtleneck and the, the chain. But um, yeah, I just use my normal serum for spots and everything. Um, then a moisturiser. You, you'll keep seeing me say Alexa. Oh no, she's going to turn on. Okay, no, she's not. Um, yeah, you'll see me keep doing it because she wasn't working. If you see me talking. Then I just put Vaseline on, I hate putting Vaseline on. I hate just putting lip balm on, I hate the sliminess, but... And then I was just looking for a blur primer, that's it there. Um, I just popped that on. Really struggled to get it out. Even though there's loads in it somehow, I've never used it, but I was like struggling to get it out. Just put that all over the face. And then I think after this as well, I just put on some more moisturiser again because I felt like that kind of dried out. Um, some areas I didn't want to get dry, like over my spots. So I just patted it in rather than rub it in, just the more moisturiser. Now I'd never tried this, I'd bought it, um, didn't know how to open it. It was a twist. <laughs> um, I didn't want to get up because I hadn't made my bed and I didn't want you to see, see that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was kind of a bit scared to do this because I've never really colour corrected my own face. Um, you'll actually see the excitement because it just went white. Like, I was so surprised, like, the red made my under eyes white and really brightened them up, so I will be using that every day now. Because um, you never really notice it on somebody else because you just think, oh, well, you, you don't really see their face all the time. But when I'm, like, looking at my face, I was like, that is unreal. Like, it's red, but it's worked as, like, a concealer and brightened my eyes. So, yeah, I spent ages on this because I just find it like magic. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll see me. I think I spent about an extra three minutes on this, probably just... I'm just so amazed. Then I'd done the green one and I thought it looked really bright, but I was like, see if this works because I've got really bad, like, redness down on my chin because of the masks now. And on my forehead, so I was, like, really excited. <laughs> um, yeah, and I just covered up all the redness on my face with that full palette thing so um the color corrector so yeah that's me still color correcting for ages this is what i spend the most time on because i just i forgot to like get rid of the red redness on my nose though so I, I don't know what i was thinking there i think i just thought it was for my spots but that's me saying wow <laughs> just pointing at it then my face felt a bit dry, so I just put on some hydrating mist after, just so my foundation went on a bit better. Um, I got really embarrassed by like the mess of my foundation because I've used that one in ages. It's like the sheer one, if you put it on like really sparingly. Um, because I didn't have a BB cream, I've never asked my mum if she had one, but hers was like so dark, like extremely dark. So I was like, I'm not putting that on. So I just like done a light coverage like just one layer of this and it actually turned out really nice you could still see all my freckles and everything so it wasn't like too pigmented and yeah heavy looking so that's me just applying it all over buff really buffing it in And then I was just setting under the eyes just before, like, I went all over with my translucent powder. Just on areas where I have got spots and, like, I feel like my makeup comes off a wee bit more, a lot easier. Um, so then I just brushed it all over the face, some translucent powder, which I don't ever do. I don't know why, I just always powder the like the bits I actually need to like my nose and stuff like that and then I just popped on a wee bit of blush it's like the pinkest reddiest blush I have like the most pigmented so a MAC one and just popped that on my cheeks sorry if you can hear cars I'm on the main road <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them in the background, but suddenly there's just hunches of cars going by. Um, then I just used my Hoola bronzer because it's like the perfect shade, I think, for my eyes. Um, 
if I'm just wanting to darken up the crease um, and I can just contour my nose as well, contour any bits that I need to. I kind of go right up into my eye socket from contouring my nose so that's why I've done that at the same time. That's me really struggling but <laughs> yeah, then I just done my brows. Just I lightly put in, I know you said not to draw them on but I literally have no eyebrows and I forgot to dye them. I usually dye them like every two weeks. Um, so I just quickly filled in the ends that like had not no hairs in them and then I just used it was like a brown mascara but I just used it on my brows because I thought it'd be a lot better and it was I actually was really pigmented and then I just went over with a clear one just to set them in place as well and then I just used the same eyeshadow brush and just went underneath and then added the same Mascara, I was just talking about the brown one just onto my top lashes. I don't think I put it on my bottom lashes. I always forget to do that. Cause, yeah, I did. I always forget to put it on my bottom lashes. I've just realised that. And then I found that, so I thought that would be really good, just like a sheer. Cause she said it was to be really sheer, so I was like, oh, I've got that Vaseline lip tint. But then that was really, she really, really sheer. So I just popped a teeny bit of like pink lipstick just over the top to make it look more like a sheer lipstick. That's me talking to myself again. <laughs> then that's it done.